Hi and welcome to another DVS video blog. Today we're going to be speaking about some of the bits and pieces that we've had donated to us at Passy Tun Young Sports Derbyshire. Um, we had quite a few uh, bits and pieces sent to us. Um, we had a couple of hats and air rifles, uh, one in 177, one in 22 sent to us by Edgar Brothers. Uh, we also had two pistols sent to us by Armex. And Great Fun Targets also donated some of their spinners to us. Um, we'll get to them shortly. Let's have a quick look at what uh, the air rifles are that we've had sent and the air pistols. Okay, here we have the Hatsun Striker 1000S. The top one there is the 177 version, and the bottom one there is the 22 version. Very nice rifles. Synthetic stock, auto safety. Um, they've got a nice dove rail for the scopes to go on. We didn't put scopes on this one, we used this one uh, as the fibre open sights. Uh, we did, however, put a scope on the 177 version. The kids absolutely loved using these rifles, they give a nice little kick, very accurate. Uh, we were shooting at um, the backstops that I've got there, they were set out at 15, 20 and 25 yards and the kids really enjoyed shooting these. They also enjoyed shooting the Neil Browning bookmark. This is a 177 brake barrel, again auto safety, single shot, very accurate, uh, up to about 15 yards. Again, the kids really enjoyed using this one, as did I. Nice piece of kit. Metal plastic grips. Again, it's got a dove rail on the top for any sights that you want to put on it. But it's also got the open sights on there as well. Not very heavy. Nice pistol. And then we move on to the Colt 1911. A1, the uh, Dark Ops version from Armex. Now, this came with two eight shot mags, um, a whole load of the CO2 bulbs, and two tins of pellets. And I must admit, on the day, we went through one entire tin of the pellets. Uh, they really did enjoy shooting this one. The weight and the feel of it is very realistic. Uh, manual safety which we've got there uh, nice design very easy to operate you just press the little button down there and the slide opens up and the mag comes out like that you have to excuse me I'm doing this one-handed um, you press the little magazine safety on the opposite side the pistol grip comes away and that's where you put your CO2 bulb absolutely brilliant uh, piece of kit again everybody that handled that said how weighty it was how nicely it shot um, and quite accurate actually uh, they had a real good uh, time with that right I'll go and grab mine and I'll show you what the kids experienced with shooting my air arms s410 okay so here we go this is my weapon of choice. This is what I take out on all my hunting trips with me. It's the Air Arms S410 Carbine. I've embellished it a little bit with a carbon fibre wrap. Just to make it look something different. I'm using a Cree hunting lamp on there. It's got a variable zoom on it. Excellent for when you're working out outdoors, lamping the rabbits. Or at the moment, we're doing quite a bit of work at one of the farms uh, with keeping the feral pigeons, the collared doves, and the rats out of a turkey pen. Beautiful rifle to shoot. And at the Passiton Young Sports Day, everybody that shot it said how quiet it was, how easy it was to handle, how easy it was to manoeuvre. Um, they were really really taken aback by where we've come from with the spring powered rifle uh, I actually brought along with me as well a BSA Meteor 
uh, circa 1985 I think it was and then we went on to the new Springers from Edgar Brothers and then they all got to have a go with my little Air Arms S410 Dean also brought his 410 along as did Martin both from uh, Dunkington Vermin Services they were kind enough to let the kids have a go on uh, their rifles uh, the scope I've got on here is a BSA Essential 6 to 24 by 50 with the adjustable optics now a lot of people will say that you don't need a scope that big to go rabbit hunting but the fact of the matter is is that I've seen hunters go out there using binoculars and spotting scopes why do you need to carry a spotting scope or a pair of binoculars when you've got a scope that you can utilize to do both jobs now yeah when I'm taking a shot I only use um, 9 or 10 times zoom but reading off the yardage on the front I can clearly see how far the target is away so a large scope does have its benefits it's not that heavy it doesn't add much weight to the rifle really and as you can see it's sat on a little cheapish bipod serves its purpose so there you go a very nice piece of kit I advise anyone that's looking coming over from a Springer coming over onto the PCPs to actually have a go with an air arms and test it out for yourself see what you think I'm sure you'll be impressed right so what is pass it on and how did we become involved well I believe in what Rob Collins is doing with trying to show uh, the younger generation that using air rifles in a correct manner can be very enjoyable it's not all about going out there and shooting things it's about target practice showing the younger generation that if you use an air rifle correctly then you can have quite a bit of fun with it um, one of the key things that I uh, was talking about at the event is the safety aspect uh, how to shoot safely what to use what you can and can't shoot with an air rifle um, and mainly trying to educate people on um, the different aspects of air rifle shooting now one of the things that I'm constantly asked is how can you show kids how to use an air rifle or why would you want to show kids how to use an air rifle well put quite simply it takes away that want to go and buy one once they've been and had a go and they can see what it's like if they want to go and buy one or they want the parents to go and buy one for them they know what to expect they know the rules and regulations they know exactly what's what um, and hopefully through my teachings and the other volunteers that pass it on namely Dean Megacy and Martin Crudis thank you very much for your help on Saturday I couldn't have done it there without you we drive to show people that air rifles can be safe the one question that I've always asked is how can this be classed as dangerous now if you look down there on the floor there's my beloved air rifle now I don't know whether you'd agree but my rifles there it's unloaded the pellets are there the magazines are there how long can I stand here before that becomes dangerous well I could stand here all day because it's not dangerous until somebody picks it up loads it and starts shooting it if we can show the kids that these things are dangerous they can be lethal but if we can show them how to use them correctly and responsibly on land that they've been granted permission to go on then hopefully we should be able to reduce the number of air rifle accidents um, with the younger generation there's a lot of kids out there that came to me and looked at my rifle wow that's brilliant absolutely brilliant that they shot it and they looked and because it was a case of you don't know how much power this has got yes it knocks a spin around at 25 yards 
But if you were to put a potato up at 25 yards and shoot it with that rifle, you'd blow a hole clean through the potato. That would be like shooting through a child's arm. Now, yeah, go on, everybody's going to start saying, yeah, no comparison. In actual fact, it is. If you were to shoot somebody with that in the arm, it would make a hell of a mess, especially at point-blank range. Now, with everybody that came, <coughs> excuse me, my key focus was safety. So as you can see there, I've got three purpose-built backstops. One's now got a little pellet catcher stuck to the front. And that one's got three spinners on it. Now, the small one was set at 15 yards. That one was set at 20 yards. And that one was set at 25 yards. And I was amazed at how many people actually picked my rifle up or picked any of the rifles up uh, for the first time. They were managing to hit that top 40 mil spinner from a range of 20 yards. Now, that could be put down to us setting the rifles correctly or them actually listening to the instruction that we, we were giving them so based on the instruction they were managing to hit targets out to 25 yards now that is quite a dangerous piece of equipment if given to the wrong person if the wrong people get hold of it uh, there could be any manner of things that go go wrong but through pass it on we can show and we can teach people how to use rifles safely and responsibly and how to gain access to land so they can go and enjoy their shooting <laughs>